the man who wants to be Prime Minister kicking off an election year with an assault on the incumbent. The grand slam of pandemic failure. Anthony Albanese seeking to define the coming contest as a referendum on Scott Morrison's character. Such a pathological determination to avoid responsibility. The Labor leader delivering a fiery critique of the PM's COVID response, Very good. likening it to his pre-pandemic troubles. He doesn't hold a hose and he doesn't give a rat's. Labor's promise of free rapid antigen tests, not a free-for-all. By doing it through the Medicare system, you can control how many there are. Our plan... The opposition leader unveiling a campaign-friendly $440 million policy to give school students mental health checkups and safer classrooms. Improving ventilation in schools and creating outdoor learning areas. Both are key to managing the spread of COVID. We've had to spend during the course of COVID, but we didn't spend on pink bats, didn't spend on school halls that were 10 times the price of what they should have been. Anthony Albanese may be the leader of the opposition, but for much of the pandemic, it's been the premiers and chief ministers who've been central to the national debate, often relegating him to the sidelines. That's left Mr Albanese with the task of better defining who he is and what he stands for ahead of the election. Yes, hello. As for Scott Morrison, there's no shortage of people wanting to define him, even those afforded one of Australia's greatest honours. Congratulations on the, on the engagement. Grace Tame, the outgoing Australian of the year, saying nothing right, well, while saying a lot. Andrew Proven, ABC News, Canberra.